All right, guys, we are back. We are back with another video. Last time we unboxed the DualSense Edge. Now we're going to go through the settings. So stick around. Let's see what this looks like on a PlayStation. All right. So we got it plugged in. So you got this little interface here that pops up customizing your controller. So it looks like you can do button assignments, adjust the sensitivity, custom profiles. The function button's a nice addition here. You can change between the menus and the profiles with that. So let's take a look at it. I already set this one up. I'll show you how to set up a profile for Call of Duty, but here we go. Starting now. All right, so we are in the menu. So you got custom profiles. You have a few other things here, but let's go through. So you got receive feedback, custom function menu. Let's start with the custom profile. So you can have four profiles. Um, you can assign them. Probably have more than four, but you can assign four. So we're gonna create a custom profile here to show you guys what it looks like. So I'm gonna name it COD because that's why I wanna try the controller on the best for um just because it's a shooting game and i've been playing warzone here for a little bit with ray so i want to make sure um i test it out on a game that i normally use the elite 2 controller on so we got this call of duty so next up we're going to do button assignments so we want to make sure that we assign the two paddles domes half domes whatever you want to call them these are half domes i'm using the the halfies so let me see what I want to do here. Call of Duty Circle probably is a good option. Let's get it out. Take a look. Take a look. See, I think it is Circle. I want to make sure I can slide with the back paddles and probably jump. I think those are two might be my two best options here. All right, so actually I am going to go to the other one. Let's try the other one first because I, I want to make sure they're in the same layout as my elite so I don't get confused. So we're going to put circle on this side, on the right side. And then we'll go back and we'll put, let's see, square X. What do we want to put over here? All right. So yeah, we'll go with X here. All right, so we have circle X, we applied that. We have the customized button assignment. You can pretty much change anything you want in there, which is cool. Stick sensitivity and dead zone. We'll go left stick, here are your options. You have quick, precise, steady, digital. So quick, the amount of registered input accelerates as you tilt the stick. So that's good for making quick movements. Minimum input is registered when you tilt the stick. Good for making precise movements for shooting games. Register is limited even in the tilt stick far. Enables smooth and stable movement. Tilting the stick even slightly will register minimum, uh, nearly maximum input. So that's definitely for instant. And then dynamic enables versatile gameplay and shooting games where you need to aim carefully but also turn quickly. So we're probably going to do dynamic here. Select so that. You can do the curve adjustment. I won't mess with this right now. We'll, we'll kind of gauge it as we play. Right stick will do the same. We're going to head to dynamic. Leave the curvature for alone for the moment and a dead zone. So we'll see what that looks like. Trigger dead zone. So here is where do you want it to stop? If you use the the stops on the bottom, it really doesn't matter because it's going to stop where you put the trigger stops. So you can adjust it here if you want to, though, and not mess with the trigger stops. So we'll leave that as is because we'll do the trigger stops. Vibration intensity. I feel like I should turn this off, try to save some battery, but we'll just turn it to weak for now. Trigger. We'll leave it there as one of the Better parts of the dual sense controller in general is that you feel resistance on the trigger, so you want to make sure we leave that on there. Take a look. 
Okay, so next up is we're gonna assign it here to a function. So create a shortcut on a controller. You can just do it on the controller. So we want to do that. So let's assign it to function plus circle for Call of Duty. It's gonna be our first assignment. I might do one for Madden too, we'll see. So we got it assigned now, we got the default, we got the Call of Duty function. Tells you when it can when it changed and what it changed to, which is awesome. On the top right, so I'm digging that. Now you have indicators, so a flash, vibration, dual sense will always show notifications. I like that. Keep that on. Function menu. We're gonna keep all the functions on here. Brightness indicators. We are going to lower that, hopefully save some battery. That's pretty much all right guys as you can see it is pretty intuitive i could say it has a lot of the same things that the xbox elite does i think next up we're going to do a comparison video between the two um take a look at it so far the playstation controller feels really good it's not um we'll leave that for the next one yo thanks for stopping by make sure you subscribe hit the comment section let me know what you think do you have one of these bad boys otherwise me and ray are out here podcast coming on saturday two episodes of the last of us since the last podcast we had last weekend since the last of us is premiering on friday this week due to the super bowl so make sure you catch us on there keep sharing keep liking let's grow this community y'all deuces <laughs>